Today I'm back with another try on haul video for you. So I have my rail out and I have some beautiful new in pieces to talk you through. I am so excited about all of these pieces because they're all in these gorgeous knit fabrics. We have some cashmere in here and some merino wool and wool as well. So perfect natural fibers to see you through autumn, winter this season. This video is in partnership with Goelia. So everything on the rail is from them and I will leave everything in the description box down below if you would like to check out any of these pieces. I will also leave my measurements as well as the size I took in each piece down in the description box and in the pinned comment as well so you can compare and you can make sure you find the perfect size for you. Starting with this jumper that I'm wearing now, this is 100% cashmere. It is a perfect layering piece for this autumn winter. I love the color of this, first of all. I really like that it's a slightly more cool toned brown. We are seeing brown all over the catwalks and fashion in general, street style this autumn winter, along with red, it's definitely one of the colors of the season. And I really like to be able to incorporate that trend into my wardrobe. However, a very warm toned brown doesn't always suit me very well. So I really love this slightly more muted take on brown. If I come up close, you'll see that it is a slight mock neck um, and I really like that it isn't too high or too low. You just get that kind of perfect level of mock neck. It keeps you slightly warm and because it's cashmere, it isn't irritating or itchy on the skin at all. It feels super soft and it still has that slightly fluffy texture, which I really like to add to my autumn winter outfits because I think texture is one thing I love to play with in the cooler seasons and something I miss out on in summer because you can't really play with texture as much in summer, but in autumn winter, you can really add lots of different textures to your look. So I've paired this really fluffy cashmere jumper with this very smooth knit mini skirt. So this is merino wool, which is a much flatter knit. So it has that smooth knit texture. And then I've got the tights and the leather on the boots. And I think playing with this texture, as well as adding some gold jewelry to the look. So I love this necklace, especially with the high neck of the jumper it really makes the necklace pop and I've got some gold earrings in as well and I just love the overall effect of this outfit. Of course for winter if I'm going outside I will probably need to pop on a layer and I have a few different coats and jackets to show you today. The one I want to start with this outfit is this gorgeous brown coat because it is somewhat similar in its tone to the jumper. They're slightly different shades of brown, but I would say they belong to the same family. It's a slightly darker, slightly warmer brown, the coat, um, but it is still on the cooler side when we compare it to something more like a chocolate brown. So again, if you're looking for a slightly cool toned brown, then this might be a stunning option. I think it is so classic looking um, in its shape. It's more of a, I would say it's more of a car coat, London style jacket shape. So it doesn't have a belt on it. As you can see, it's not got a waist belt, so it's not a wrap coat and it is slightly oversized. It has, has slightly dropped shoulders and it just gives it a really effortless feel. So let me pop this on and show you what I mean. Can you see what I mean about the shape of this coat? I think it is cut to perfection. I love the slightly oversized, slightly dropped shoulder feel of it. It makes it feel quite casual and totally appropriate for daytime. It doesn't feel too dressy of a coat. Having said that, the color, because it is this muted brown, this neutral tone, I feel like that does dress it up slightly. So you could definitely wear this in the evening and it still feels very chic. I love the length of it. As you can see on me, it's coming mid calf. Um, so I think that's the perfect length for a coat like this. It allows you to stay warm across your whole body. And I think it looks really gorgeous with the leather boots because there isn't a break between the coat and the boots and it just flows seamlessly. I think that is one of the keys to looking stylish in autumn winter. If you're gonna wear a high boot like this, make sure that your coat or your jacket covers the top of your boot and you get that really seamless look between the, it's kind of like a flow between the wool of the coat and the leather of the boot. And again, it's playing with those different textures and slightly different neutral tones that makes the outfit feel very chic. 
I did size up one in this coat because I wanted it to be a little bit more, more oversized because I think it has that design that, because it doesn't have a belt and it is definitely not fitted. It is slightly more of an androgynous design. I wanted it to be oversized. So I did go up a size. It has these lovely pockets here, which are really nice. I really like pockets in a coat here. Obviously it keeps your hands warm, but I also think for looking chic, I think having somewhere to put your hands, I know it sounds silly, but I think if you're taking pictures or anything like that, having somewhere to put your hands is nice. And it just has two buttons which match the color of the coat. Again, a really nice touch. They don't stand out too much. They're not too much of a presence on the coat. So it does feel like quite a minimal coat when you look at it from afar. This is definitely an outfit I'm going to be wearing so much on repeat autumn winter. I love the two shades of brown. You could do a fully tonal look with this as well. If you had a brown trouser or um, a brown skirt, you could pair it with these and have just different shades of the same color. And I do think that that looks so, so chic when done right. In terms of the composition, it will all be down in the description, but this is a wool tensile blend and that really allows it to drape very beautifully. It feels very soft. It feels like a felt like wool. Um, so there's no itch to it. There's no irritation. If this was to touch any part of your skin, it feels super soft to the touch. But having that tensile in it, it does allow it to drape and flow really beautifully as you move, which I do really appreciate. For a very subtle change in the outfit, I've swapped the navy mini skirt for some navy wool trousers. And I think this is beautiful as well. So if you're not a skirt wearer, you can definitely pair this outfit with a really chic, either a tailored wool trouser or something like this, which is more of like a stretchy wool trouser. Again, the navy looks beautiful with the brown. It's so classic. I've still got the boots on. And I think even though you can't see the boots, they add a nice final touch adding again another texture, that leather to an otherwise quite soft outfit. It's definitely a nice juxtaposition between the harshness of the leather and the soft of everything else. Hopefully you agree that both of these items are so beautiful. I feel so understated, but so chic in these items. And I really think because they are natural fibers, they're going to last and they're classic items that aren't gonna date, they're not gonna go out of style. And so you're gonna have these in your wardrobe for so many seasons and years to come. Next up, I have a, another coat to show you, and this one is just as beautiful. This is a wool and cashmere blend coat. It is potentially even softer than the one I have on now because it has that slight percentage of cashmere. So it's a slightly shorter coat. It's still quite long, but it's a little bit more mid-length than this full long length version. And I wanna show you how I would style this one in a few different ways because you can wear it with or without the belt, open or closed. So you have quite a lot of versatility with a jacket like this. The first way I would style this coat is quite casual and quite oversized like this without the belt. So undone, it has this beautiful waterfall style of collar. So it's got quite big lapels and they just kind of hang and flow with the coat. They dra drape really nicely. And then it's got some big, really cozy pockets here that you can put your hands in, your gloves and I can't even tell you how soft this coat is. Because it has that cashmere in it, it is so buttery soft. Again, zero itch or irritation with this coat. So if you are sensitive, I highly recommend going for natural fibers, particularly merino wool and cashmere, because they don't irritate you at all. And they will also keep you really, really warm. This color is stunning. This is like a taupey brown. It's a definitely a lighter shade of brown than the previous coat, as you can see. Um, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. If you're into your neutrals, you're going to love this. Um, I also sized up one in this coat. I definitely could have gone with my regular size. Again, I like my coats to be a little bit on the boxier, more oversized fit. However, if you prefer slightly more form-fitting clothes, I would go with your true size because there is plenty of room in it. And that is what the back looks like. And as you can see, it is more of a knee length coat. So it's not quite as long. If you are petite and long coats often drown you, this might be a really good length to go for because it's still got that slightly boxy, slightly oversized, slightly long line feel. It's not a cropped coat by any means, but it isn't gonna drown you as much because this is only knee length on me. So it would just be below the knee if you're a bit shorter. Now this coat does come with a matching belt. So if you would like to cinch it out of the waist, then you do have that option. 
option and I really like being able to have both options. So if you tie it and cinch it, you can see you get a little bit more of a shapely look. Um, you get your waist cinch in, but it's still really nice and cozy and it doesn't feel too form fitting. So you're still gonna be able to fit, fit your thicker jumpers and walls underneath, um, but it has that slightly more cinched in, defined waist look, which is also very chic, depending on what you prefer. I love the style of it. It's not something I've owned previously, this kind of length of coat, but it's definitely something that I'm gonna enjoy wearing. I think it adds versatility to my wardrobe. With all of my other coats being mid calf length, they're on the longer side. This is just a new silhouette, a new shape for me to play with. I love the way that this tone pairs with my burgundy croc bag as well. I think the two match so well. And overall, this is definitely an outfit I can see myself wearing all winter long, obviously you might wanna add a scarf and some thermals, but I really do think that layering is the key to looking chic. If like me, you don't wanna just go around in a huge coat all the time, and you want to be able to experiment with different shapes and silhouettes of your outerwear, then as I said, wearing the thermals underneath, wearing the layers enables you to do that and adding scarves, hats, and gloves to keep warm. But yeah, I mean, being cashmere, this is still pretty warm, even though it is on the thinner side and I'm so in love with this. Do let me know what you think of this one, what you think of the outfit altogether. I know I'm in love with it, and I'm gonna be wearing it all season long. This is just another outfit option for this coat. Just to show you how well this works with complete neutrals as well. So this is a purely black and white outfit. I have some black tailored trousers on, some black patent slingbacks and a white blouse. And I really think that this neutral toned coat goes so perfectly with all of the monochrome neutrals in this outfit, but equally it went really well with the more muted colors in the previous outfit, the navies and the browns. So I think whatever color you're wearing, if you're sticking to neutrals, and even if you're not, this would, for instance, look amazing with burgundy um, and even with this pink shade as well. I think if I was gonna wear this outfit, I would probably pair it with this pink bag. And I really like adding color through my accessories in the autumn winter because then you can stick to really classic pieces like natural fiber, neutral colored coats. Because coats are more of an investment and you want them to last and go with every outfit you put them with, adding a little pop of color through a bag or a pair of shoes or even just a scarf or a pair of gloves can really complete an outfit. And I love the way that this comes together with this coat. Now, if you do wanna to stick to all neutrals, monochrome outfits, then a key piece that you're gonna need in your wardrobe is a black coat or jacket. So I have one to show you. If you're lesser into the soft, more muted neutrals, classic black you cannot go wrong with. And sometimes the occasion just calls for an all black or nearly black outfit. This is a stunning coat from Goelia. Again, it is also more of a mid length rather than a full length jacket. And it also can be worn with or without a belt. So let me pop this on and show you how beautiful this looks. Okay, so the cut of this coat is gorgeous. It's very classic. Um, it's quite straight up and down, as you can see. It doesn't really have too much of a collar, but it's got these poppers. So you can do it up, up and have it um, obviously like that, which I actually think looks really nice as well. I think sometimes it's hard to find a coat that looks as nice done up as it does undone. But I do think even without the belt, this coat has such a beautiful shape. This would also look gorgeous with a mini dress because it is slightly flared. I feel like it would mimic an A-line dress or an A-line skirt really well if you had like a little black dress and you wanted a piece of outerwear to pair with it, but you didn't want it to ruin the outfit or be too clunky or oversized, I think this style of coat would be a really nice option. Sometimes you just can't go wrong with a black jacket. And I really like the sleeves on this one. They are a little bit long, but they have these splits in them with a button. Um, and it just adds a little extra design detail to the coat. 
The back is very simple in terms of the fabric. It's a double faced wool. I love a double faced wool. Um, if you're here, I have loads of coats in this kind of fabric. So it has two layers of the wool sewn together. So it doesn't have like a viscose or polyester lining, which personally I prefer because I feel like it's more comfortable to have this wool on your skin or against your clothes rather than having like a staticky lining that is just gonna kind of create static and not be as nice and natural feeling. And I really like the drape and the flow of coats that don't have that lining. I think they feel very premium and I this is no exception. I think this coat feels so premium. It's got little pockets here. And as I said, it did come with a belt. So interestingly, it comes with this leather effect belt. So it's almost like a piece of string. So you can choose to use this if you would like to, but you don't have to. But I'm gonna give you, um, an idea of what this would look like when you do cinch it in more at the waist. So this is what it looks like with the belt. So you just tie it yourself. Again, I quite like it because it adds another texture to the look. So it adds this kind of leathery texture to the wool and contrasts quite nicely. And as you can see, if I come up close, it just cinches it in. It gives it a slightly different feel, a slightly more feminine silhouette. And I really like it both ways. I actually can't decide which I prefer best. If you're wearing a dress, this could be really nice, as I said, because again, even cinching it in, it kind of mimics the shape of an A-line dress. And I do think it would look really pretty with a little dress underneath. So nice. The quality, again, feels immaculate. It feels gorgeously soft. Zero itch. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I just want to make sure that it's clear. There is no irritation, no itch to these fabrics. And I really stand by the quality of them. I think it does look beautiful and so, so high end. Let me know what you think of this one. This actually might be one of my favorites, even though it's very simple. It's just a black coat, but it's not something that I have in my wardrobe. I don't actually have a black coat or a black jacket. I usually go for navies or stone colors, brown colors like the others. So it's really nice to have an option for black because sometimes I do have a yearning to wear a black coat if the outfit calls for it. And it is really nice to have this one to style. Okay, let's move on to something a little bit different now. When I showed this on my Instagram a few days ago, I styled it up in a reel. So many of you loved this jacket and I can totally understand why. It's so beautiful, so chic. We've been seeing jackets like this all over street style on the runways at the moment. And I really do love them. They feel very classic, very timeless. This one is a little bit more fun because it is a boucle kind of shearling texture as opposed to being a flat wool. And it has some really beautiful buttons on it. So this one is a wool jacket in this boucle shearling material. Um, again, another amazing way to add texture to a winter outfit. If you don't need a really thick coat, but you still wanna add that fun autumn winter feel to a look, this is the perfect way to do that in my opinion. So let me pop this on and show you what it's like. How cute is this jacket? I love it. I'm a sucker for this teddy style shearling fabric, but I love that this one is wool. The quality feels amazing and I really love the cut. So this is boxy and I don't like anything too fitted. Again, this is so personal preference. Perhaps you do prefer a more fitted style, in which case I would go with your true size. But I went up one size to a size large and I really just love that perfect effortless boxy fit. If I come close, you can see the true texture of this how gorgeous and fluffy and sheepskin feeling it is. It's got a lovely lining as well. Um, it's got like a, almost like a sheepskin style lining and it's got these lovely gold buttons. They're quite a muted gold, so they're not too shiny. They don't feel tacky at all. And then just pockets here. I really love this simple round neck collar as well. I think um, this style of jacket is, as I said, so popular at the moment, but this is a slightly more fun, slightly more wintry take on it because a lot of them are quite lightweight and won't necessarily be appropriate for cold weather, but this one is pretty warm actually. And I feel like you could style this up so many different ways and have such a fun styling it. One of my favorite color combinations this time of year is burgundy and ecru cream. 
I love how this dress has ecru in it already, so I feel like it is just a match made in heaven with the jacket, and it feels nice, it feels quite lightweight. Again, if you're not in a super cold climate, but you want to dress wintry, this is such a nice option because you still feel really seasonally appropriate, but it isn't too heavy, like a really thick puffer coat or something similar. And I really love the way that you can pair this jacket with a dress like this. Equally, a skirt and a top would work as well and also like the trousers in the previous outfit. Moving on to the next item, this is so stunning. This is also one of my favorite things from this video. It's this gorgeous wool jacket cardigan. Again, this is something that has been so in for the last year and it's not going anywhere anytime soon because it is such a classic piece. It's never really gonna date, but it is particularly on trend at the moment. I love this particular one because of that contrast piping. It really makes it pop and makes it stand out a little bit more than if it was just an ecru all over. It also has some beautiful buttons on it, if you can see that there. Really gorgeous vintage feeling buttons, which definitely make it feel more on the vintage style as opposed to the preppy modern style and I prefer that personally. So if you like your vintage inspired dressing, this is definitely going to be a favorite for you. And again, I love that it's 100% wool. So let's get this on, style it. I think I'm going to style it with some black trousers again. Because it's got that black piping, I want to pair it with black. I think that's how it's going to look best. As you can see, the fit on this jumper cardigan is perfect. It is cropped and a little bit boxy, but still manages to be really flattering because it is cut correctly. It fits me well in the shoulder. It fits me well in the length and the arm, but it still has that boxy, slightly yeah, cropped style that these jackets and cardigans do have. And as predicted, I think it looks really good with the black trousers and the black boots for a very simple, timeless, chic look. You could even add the black coat over the top to complete the outfit. I might actually do that and see what that looks like. That is the look overall, stunning, I love it. I love the slightly different necklines of the cardigan and the jacket. So you can see the cardigan jumper poking out at the top and then the jacket has a slightly lower neckline. I think that looks beautiful. And again, because I'm wearing all natural fibers, I just feel so chic. There is something about wearing natural fibers that makes you feel 10 times better in my opinion. They just hang and drape and feel so much nicer. So I would highly recommend this one. I went true to size in this one and I feel like it is still a little bit boxy. It's definitely boxy enough in your true size. Just wanna give you a close up of the buttons. So as I said, they're beautiful, really vintage feeling. Um, and then the piping is on the cuffs, the pockets, and the perimeter of the jacket as well. Of course, the other way you can wear this is completely open as a cardigan, which I really love as well. Um, and I like the versatility of it. I think this looks really great. I think paired with something black underneath, again, it matches really nicely with the piping of the black on this and it makes the ecru pop really nicely. And I love this outfit. I think it looks just as good done up or undone. And again, I like that versatility. So yeah, this is this cardigan. There are so many other ways I could style this. I think it would look great with a floral midi skirt as well, but I wanna move on to the next item, the penultimate item. And that is quite similar in some ways. It is this gorgeous cream ecru roll neck with this lovely frilly neckline. So this has got a higher neckline and it's got all of these beautiful frills on the neck as well as on the cuffs. But otherwise it is fairly simple. This one is also wool, so I'm gonna pop this one on. I think I'm gonna keep this skirt on and try it with this top because I think this is gonna be a nice combination as well. As suspected, I love this combination, so classic. Um, I really love the scallop details along the cuffs and the neckline. It just definitely adds something to the jumper. You could tuck this under if you didn't want the scallops showing, that's definitely possible. And then you've got a more traditional kind of mock neck style, but I do really like the frills. I think it adds a feminine edge, a vintage edge to the top. It pairs lovely with this skirt. I feel like this would go with any mini skirt in my wardrobe. I might try it with a couple of others in a second. And yeah, I just think having a nice feminine bag as well, like this pink one, is really gonna complement the frills of the jumper so nicely. This is also wool if I didn't mention it, so it 
is super soft, no itching at all, no irritation, um, a gorgeous quality of fabric and yeah, this pink and this ecru is such a nice combination. And I've switched out my boots. I had my black stiletto boots on, but I've switched out to the dark brown, classic kind of more uh, round-toed boots because I think they're a little bit softer um, and that's appropriate for this very feminine look. Another way I would style this jumper is with a midi skirt that had a similar coloring. So this one has black and ecru flowers, as you can see, so I'm still sticking quite monochrome but being a little bit more feminine with the floral design. And I also think, actually, I think it looks great with the brown leather boots, but I do think if I switched to a brown suede boot, it would give it kind of more of a boho 70s vibe, which I am kind of all about. So I'm gonna to switch to these boots. Switching from suede to leather, I think instantly just makes it feel more casual, more, yeah, more 70s, more vintage-y, and I really love that. I really love the brown suede with the warmer ecru tone of this, and I would probably pair it with a brown bag to finish the look off. I've just got this one here, um, and I just think it is so stunning. It's definitely a slightly different look, slightly more feminine, slightly more flirty, with the midi skirt and the suede, but equally as beautiful. I couldn't resist trying this with my blue knit mini skirt as well, because I just thought that that would be a really nice combination with the brown suede boots. Um, love it, love it. And having these brown boots on makes me want to pair it with my brown coat that I showed at the beginning of the video. I think this is truly the thing about sticking to mostly neutral tones, is all of these items are going to mix and match so easily together. And with the pieces that I already own, I love this look with the ecru, the navy and the brown. And if I did want to add some colour, I can do that through my accessories. I think this scarf, for instance, I've got this burgundy check scarf and I think this would look great with this outfit. Just adds a bit of color without actually having to invest in colorful premium pieces like the coat and the knitwear because those are more expensive and I do think you are just gonna get more wear out of them if they are neutral. Obviously it depends. If you really love color, then go for it. Um, and I would probably also pair it with a more fun, colorful bag. Again, I always gravitate towards this in the autumn, the burgundy croc. Matches with the scarf really nicely. This is definitely gonna be a firm favorite outfit as well. And I feel so warm for the winter. We've come full circle. I'm in the first look again, the navy knit trousers and this cashmere mock neck because I wanna to talk to you about the final item. And this is this cropped puffer coat. Now, I think a puffer coat is an essential in winter. And um, I think the key to picking a puffer coat or a more practical coat is if you wanna look chic still and you wanna pair it with all of the really lovely items in your wardrobe, like your cashmere jumpers and your knit trousers and your tailored trousers, and you still want it to look chic and not too outdoorsy, then the key is to pick a color that isn't black. Pick a softer, more muted, neutral tone. It could be something lighter like this. This is like a stony beige ecru white color. It could be a darker stone color, a little bit like the color of this, or even the color of this brown, or it could be a navy. Navy works really well as well. But I just think anything other than black is insta instantly going to look a little bit more chic and a little bit less like your classic black puffer coat. I think what makes this one look really chic, other than the color, which I think helps, is also the cut. I feel like the cut is really, really nice. It looks really intentional. Um, it's not too long. It's not a long line one. It's more on the cropped side. And it's slightly boxy with, without being too large. So I sized up in this one to, I think I've got an extra large. I will leave the details in the description. But it just means that I can comfortably fit things underneath and I don't have to feel too tight and restricted. I can still move about and and this would look great with athleisure. If you do wanna wear it with leggings to the gym, I still feel like it is chic enough to wear. Like with the outfit I have on now, I don't think it looks too out of place. And it's obviously, I'm really warm in this because I'm inside and the heating's on. Um, but this is gonna keep you really toasty and warm. So my final tip for dressing chic but warm this winter is to get yourself a practical coat like a puffer coat, but get it in a color other than black. So get it in a muted, softer, more neutral tone that is still gonna pair with all of your clothes like black wood, but just feels and looks a little bit different and a little bit more chic.
So those are my tips for staying chic but warm this winter. I hope you enjoyed seeing the pieces from Goelia. I can really vouch for the quality. I love that they're using natural fibers and I love how chic and timeless their overall style is. Let me know which piece and which outfit was your favorite down below. I will also leave links to everything down in the description box as well as my sizing and measurement information. If you have any other questions, do pop them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will leave some other videos that you may enjoy watching after this one on screen and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.